So right now I'm going to show you a simple way to record your screen while you work if you don't already have another way to do it. And I'm doing this on VMware just to show that it can be done from any computer in any way. I don't have PowerPoint on my own computer. So I'm on VMware right now. But I'm going to show you how to use PowerPoint to watch AutoCAD. So first I'm going to open up my AutoCAD. And I use the right click open. And it's going to turn on shortly. And this does take a while to get set up. And that's okay. So there we go. I've got it all set up. So now I can minimize it. And now I can open PowerPoint. Right click open. And it's really cool. There's a really cool thing in PowerPoint. It's under the insert button. Insert. And way over on the right, it allows you to do a screen recording. Click. And so it asks you what part of the screen. I'm going to select the area. What part of the screen do I want? And I'll take the whole screen. Make it easier for myself. I'll take the whole screen area there. And I'll turn off the audio because we don't need it. But I'll leave the pointer on. And then I can start recording. And now watch. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this really quickly. Uh, and it's something you're going to have to remember. When I click record, it says 3, 2, sh Window, Shift, Q. Window, Shift, Q. Not very intuitive, but that's good. And now I can start my AutoCAD. There it is. And see all this red is what's going to get, get uh, recorded. So here we go. This is just like I'm doing my skill test. So I'll turn, turn that off. I'll draw some lines. Bink, 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 bink. Let's say that was my skill test. <laughs> Yours will be better. Yours will last up to one hour. And the thing can record that long. So this is not a problem. You just do your work back and forth and doing all your good work. And when you're done, you hold down shift. The little Windows tab and Q. There it is. And that's my that's my recording. See, it shows it's a recording. It actually is. If I want to make it a little smaller. That's my recording. And I can watch it. And you'll you'll see it's gonna start doing stuff pretty soon. There it is. <laughs> Isn't that cool? That's what I just did. So now, once you've got that, you've got to do something with it, though. So I'm going to right-click. I'm going to right-click on the thing. And I'm going to save the media. That's a that's a, a video, but I want to save that media all, at, all on its own. And I'm going to put it on the desktop. I'll give it some sort of weird name. Save and see it's just going to save it as a media file. And before I go anywhere else, whoopsie, I did too much there. I'm going to, I should, before I, you know, I save everything and there it is. There it is right there. Okay. So it's really important that you save that somewhere where you know where it is. Put it on a flash drive or on your computer or whatever. Or, um, if it was a good one, submit it into Canvas right away. But that's your file. And remember, to do your final exam, you want to put in that. Plus your AutoCAD file. Plus print it to a PDF. So there you go. That's how you can do a recording of your own work. This media file needs to be submitted with your skill demonstration. If you have questions and can't get it done, then of course, email me. 
and we'll set up some way to get it done so that you can you can do it but this is something you can practice in the meantime